Good afternoon, YouTube. Sir Owen Disney here once again with yet another video vlog. That sounds a little redundant, so we'll just use the word vlog, because I basically just called it a video video log. How does that work? Or a video blog? Either way. We'll use the buzzword, which is vlog. And I'm here, basically, and getting ready to go to work in a couple hours. I was going to go to work at 5 today, but because our business has been so slow, they basically told me not to come in until 6. That's fine, but I kind of need the extra money right now. But, eh, what can you do, right? Okay, I got my tax return, like my W-2. I got it from Regal, and I got my DVC interest that I paid out. I have my interest on my old place that I paid out, and my insurance on my old place that I paid out. So today I did my taxes, and I'm getting back a little bit more than I was anticipating, which is awesome because as soon as I get it back, I can pay off my credit card debt 100% completely. And I'm almost already paid off for September, which is gonna be amazing because as of right now, it is 100% official, September 19th through the 25th, at the Animal Kingdom Lodge Villas in Jumbo House. And then I shift to sports on the 25th until October 1st. Now I've been looking at airfare and I always have a problem with airfare because I live within, okay, maybe five to seven minutes from an airport. Granted, it's a podunk airport, it's a small airport, but it's an airport nonetheless. And an airport that has a flight to Cleveland. And this Cleveland flight gets me home, of course. Well, this is a one-hour flight, if that. Sometimes it's not even that. And then I go directly to the Cleveland airport, and it gets me to Orlando. So that's pretty much how it works with that. But I've been looking into pricing, and right now I'm looking at $384, which isn't terrible. A lot better than the 413 Well, not really a lot better, but still, off is off. So a lot better than the 413 from last year. And over here, that was two trips. And my mom actually paid for both of those trips. So I'm paying my airfare this year by myself. Well, I'm getting a little bit of help due to the fact it's my birthday and due to the fact that it's Christmas time. But I'm basically paying my own airfare this year, save a little bit of help. So I might have to fly out of Parkersburg. Now, you know, I don't like flying out of Parkersburg for a lot of reasons. Number one, there's nothing to do at all in the Cleveland airport, and I mean nothing to do in the Cleveland airport whatsoever. So, it's kind of a boring place to be. But, I guess it's the small price I pay when I don't drive. I don't have someone who can guarantee take me to the airport and pick me up from said airport as well, so it's a lot harder on me. Now, if I had my druthers, obviously I would fly out of Columbus. I know Columbus airport very well, I like it very much. The only problem is, there is a two-hour drive to get to Columbus after I get there. So pretty much after I land, if I fly out of Parkersburg, I walk down the steps of the plane, literally on the tarmac, and then I walk into the airport, get in the vehicle, and bomb out of there. So that's easy as pie. But in Columbus, I would have to get my luggage and then get two-hour drive back. So not really a good idea. There's Charleston, which I believe is 45 minutes to an hour away, and their pricing right now is about 280 as well. So it's $100 difference, but it's also 45 minutes of a drive, and I found a tremendous way to get back. The only problem is I'd have to find someone who is nice enough and willing enough to pick me up from the airport at 11.30 p.m. Not sure I can find that. But it would totally maximize my time on October 1st in the parks. But what it looks like, if I fly out of Parkersburg right now, that my flight is at 11 a.m., which would mean I would get to the airport after 9. Not something I want to do, obviously. So I'm going to continue to look through that and try to figure that one out. So I'm also looking at my DVC properties as well, checking times, checking prices, and I'm pretty positive as of right now I know it's a couple years down the road, but I said that I was going to do World and Land in the same trip for my birthday in 2015, and I'm going to. 
Now what I'm going to do is probably four days at Disney World and three days at Disneyland. Now, of course Disneyland will be paid for by DVC when I'm going to stay at the Grand Californian on points. So that's fine. I can do that. I don't have to worry about it. I just have to pay like $250 for like a three day park hopper and I'm good to go. Because I really don't care about anything out in California. Right now, I just literally want to do Disney World and Disneyland in the same trip. Now, obviously, if I had time, I would go to Universal Hollywood, which I'd like to go to. And if I could, I'd go to SeaWorld or Legoland or Hollywood in general. So I could see Chinese Theater and get look at Walt's footprints. Because I didn't really get footprints and handprints. I really didn't get the time when I went to California previously because we were on such a time crunch that the only thing I had time to do was pretty much go to the Tonight Show with Conan O'Brien. Yes, I said Tonight Show with Conan O'Brien, not Chin Boy. I actually was at the Tonight Show with Conan O'Brien and pretty much come back to Anaheim. So I really didn't have time to do anything. I didn't have time to eat a Jack in the Box or anything. So pretty much it was a lost time in Hollywood. I didn't really have much time in LA. Most of my time obviously was spent at Disneyland Resort in Anaheim. So I'm going to rectify that in a couple years. I would say probably after I move to Florida. Once I've got my job worked out and my money situation worked out that I can take the time off to go to California, I will. So 2015 will be four days at Disney World, three days at Disneyland, and of course December will be a week for reunion. So, that's the plan as of right now. I was looking at points, and I was also listening to WDW Today podcasts from the wiki today. And basically, I've come to a conclusion. I want to stay at Old Key West. And I never have before. Now granted, it's only one point more than it costs for me to stay one night at Animal Kingdom Lodge. Which could be doable. It could be possible to do it. Not going to happen this year, because this year I've pretty much figured it out. I'm going to stay, like I said, from the 19th to 25th Animal Kingdom Lodge, and then go over to sports. And this is all to save money. And the fact that I'm saving so much money, now obviously I put down the one night deposit, that's how it works with a room only, and I pretty much owe about $470. That's not bad. I can roll that real, real simple, really easily. Now granted, as soon as I pay off one credit card, I'm pretty much going to have to start charging on it and pay it off again. So it's a never-ending cycle, but, you know, honestly, when it comes down to it, anybody that knows me personally, wouldn't you rather me go home twice a year and be happy than me not go home once or twice a year or not go home period a year and then, yeah, you don't want to deal with me then. No, you really don't. So, uh... It's imperative that I go down at least once a year. And you know, now I've decided that reunion is a regular occurrence. I'm going to go down twice a year. So, I don't know about Cruise Line right now. I am still booked for Disney Cruise Line next August. That's pretty much just a dummy date right now. Because I'm planning on using that credit for when Reunion at Sea is finally announced. Well, after talking to Matt during his elongated podcast, which really was just chatting with Matt after the Super Bowl podcast, I've come to the conclusion that maybe reading at sea is not going to happen anytime soon. But it's good to have that down payment because when it does happen, I'm already ahead of the game, already ahead of the curve, so that'll work really well. So I've got that taken care of. I'm trying to plan out how much it's going to cost Will at this point. Um... So, basically, we started off with a week, and we went to eight days, and as of right now, we've got 12 days. So, we fly out on the first day, and then we come back, obviously, on the 12th day. Now, these dates are tentative based upon when Reunion 2013 officially is. And because Becky Mankin right now is down with an injury and a pinched nerve, get well soon, Becky, She's not able to be on the podcast so they can announce everything together. So NEI Mouse Fan Travel, along with WW Today, can officially announce Reunion 2013. Once that is officially announced, you might as well just put it on my credit card right there, because that's it's gonna happen. It's it's inevitable. And um that will base me and Will's dates for set December 
based upon exactly when reunion is. And if I'm correct about when reunion is going to be this year, I've got our dates 100% figured out. And I'm pretty sure Will's going to be down with everything I've created. So uh, we're going to go with that. Now, I spent most of the day just lounging around the house, not really doing anything. It's kind of snowing on and off right now. And the weather, the temperature is not as low as it could be. But apparently we're going to start getting some accumulation soon, which is not good. I see Punxsutawney Phil says there's going to be an early spring. So come on, spring. As soon as you get to spring, we can get to summer. And as soon as we get to summer, we get to fall. And as soon as we get to fall, I can go home again and be a lot happier than I am right now. But another thing I do want to talk about right now as well. Sometime this week, I'm going to be going over my BAFTA predictions. I don't know exactly what day that's going to be yet. We've got Plus and Minus on Saturday for Islands of Adventure. We've got a Raw recap tomorrow. We've got Impact recap on Friday. I've got AJ's weekend movie reviews sometime this coming weekend. And I got to talk to Will about a segment for himself on this program as well. So on this YouTube channel, we're going to be giving Will carte blanche to say whatever he wants, within reason, obviously. And uh, you guys can enjoy that as well. Hopefully you did enjoy AJ's movie reviews. I see not many people have watched them yet, but hopefully they'll get out there. Because AJ is a really brilliant person when it comes to his analysis about movies. He is a movie buff in every sense of the word. And he's my best friend, so I'm going to put him over. So basically, go watch his videos. Go watch that video on the review. Obviously, it's my words coming out of my mouth, but it's literally his words that were on the paper that I was sent. So, pretty much word for word verbatim with a couple things thrown in. So that's all AJ, and that was yesterday. So go back and watch that video. And I'm still contemplating the eight parks in one day. It's going to happen, I just don't know what day yet. That pretty much is dependent on when hours are officially announced. And right now I've got touring plans, perspective hours, and that's what I based it on. But when officially Disney announce, when Disney Travel Agents website does announce the hours, then I'll be able to start making plans. It does help out if Universal and SeaWorld would enter their hours as well. And if SeaWorld has, Universal has not yet. I mean, they're up till July right now, so not too much longer and we'll probably have that. So in the next couple of weeks, I should have the Disney hours for my September dates. So I pretty much wanted to uh, tell you guys about my trip planning. Yay. And um, talk about the BAFTAs. Like I said, the BAFTAs are coming this coming Sunday, which BAFTAs means fish and chips. So Long John Silver's is going to happen real soon. So that's going to be awesome. And like I said this week, we're going to be watching Identity Thief and Side Effects and hopefully something else, depending on if we get anything else. Nice to get Life of Pi or Lincoln back, potentially. So I could watch those again, because I only got to see Lincoln once. And that was a shame, literally, because I was on the fantasy for eight days and still didn't get to watch the movie. But I got to watch Wreck-It Ralph, so, I mean, the only reason I really got to do that was because it was taking up for one of the shows for the nights. But anyway. So I'd like to see Lincoln and Life of Pi again, if I possibly can. And uh, I'm still Team Argo, obviously. Affleck for the win. And I even think Affleck's going to win the BAFTA, and I'm pretty sure Chris Terrio is going to win the WGA. So, right now Argo's unstoppable until something else proves me otherwise. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the movie. And if you didn't, go back and watch it again. I mean, give it a second view. And if you still didn't like it, then you've at least given it another view. So, you at least give it a fresh perspective and not just say you didn't like it for because you don't like Affleck or you, you don't like how long it is or you don't like the subject matter just go back and watch it again so watch Argo watch Argo as soon as possible and I know it's not it's one of the best movies of the year and it's not everyone's cup of tea but Django Unchained needs to be watched immediately go watch Silver Linings Playbook it's incredible Les Miserables is good pretty much anything nominated for best picture with the ex the example wow exemption is what I'm looking for here we'll change that the exemption or in the exception to the rule being a more, which is absolutely god-awful. But other than that, I even like Beasts of the Southern Wild. I mean, it's not great, but and it doesn't belong there. It should have been Moonrise Kingdom. But either way, it's still better than a more, and all the other movies, phenomenal. 
Lincoln, Argo, Django, Les Mis, Silver Linings Playbook, all tremendous movies. Anything, for, like I said, anything pretty much nominated was good. Like I said, I even like Beasts of the Southern Wild, and that's really strange coming out. I like Zero Dark Thirty. I enjoyed it for what it was. Not as much as some people did, and about as much as other people did. So that's pretty much uh, the end of that conversation for now. I'm going to go ahead and get a shower and get ready for work. So guys, once again, until tomorrow for my Monday Night Raw recap. That's all i got to say about that.